The Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 was quietly announced as a successor to the flagship mobile workstation, the P1 Gen 4. New internals include Intel 12th Gen Alder Lake H CPUs, DDR5 memory, liquid metal thermal paste for improved cooling, and a new 165Hz WQXGA screen option. Is it worth shouting about? Let's find out. The P1 Gen 5 has a sophisticated all-black chassis, only broken by the carbon fiber weave design on the lid. Note this is only available on the 4K models. The chassis has the same soft touch feel as its predecessors, but the major change is the anti-smudge coating all round. No more fingerprint marks. For a flagship 16-inch laptop, the P1 Gen 5 is pretty portable, starting at 1.81 kilograms or just under 4 pounds depending on your configuration. It's not as thin as the Dell XPS 15, but it's not particularly bulky or heavy. You can just about hold it with one hand and it will fit most rucksacks. The build quality is pretty decent as you would expect from a ThinkPad. Tested to military standard 810H, the chassis is rigid with no flex or creaking sounds whatsoever from the carbon fiber magnesium bottom. The same can be said for the display lid with no noticeable twisting, giving excellent protection to the expensive display panel. There's a large vent that runs along the top of the chassis pushing hot air out from the vapour chamber cooling and vent holes at the bottom of the P1. The serviceability of the P1 Gen 5 is pretty good. Open the bottom lid via the 7 captive Phillips screws and pry open from the top. Once inside you can replace the DDR5 memory modules thanks to the dual slots available. Thank goodness it's not soldered on. Up to a maximum of 64GB DDR5 memory. One important thing to note at time of ordering, if you purchase the RTX A3000 GPU or the 3070 Ti model upwards, the GPU is protected by a vapor chamber cooling and also takes up the space where a second M.2 Gen 4 SSD slot would normally be. If you need dual M.2 storage slots, only the lower GPU models accommodate this. The 90 watt hour battery is removable, but the Wi-Fi card is soldered on. This review model has a 16 inch WQUXGA or UHD Plus, which has a resolution of 3840 by 2400, IPS touchscreen, 60 Hz anti reflective, anti smudge, and X ray factory display calibration. The visual detail from this panel is outstanding. Colors are near perfect from the X ray factory display calibration. 10 bit rated panel and wider color space thanks to 100% Adobe RGB rating. Watching 4K or 8K content is truly stunning with deep blacks, excellent contrast, and wide viewing angles. PWM flickering is non-existent due to the high quality panel. This is a display if you need 100% color accuracy for your work. The screen also has low blue light to help your eyes and Dolby Vision HDR 400 for immersive viewing. Brightness is rated at 600 nits allowing you to work in bright conditions whether it's outdoors or indoors with natural or artificial lighting. The single hinge opens up to 180 degrees flat using one hand. Great for finding your optimum viewing angle. Opening and closing is stable with hardly any wobble at all. This model has a touchscreen with multi-finger support. The touchscreen is very responsive and has the added benefit of an anti-smudge coating. The optional Lenovo Position Pen 2 has 4096 levels of pressure and tilt detection. It supports the WGP and MPP 2.0 protocols. There's two buttons on the pen. The top and bottom barrel buttons are customizable using the Novo Pen Settings app. There's a rubber seal at the top of the pen revealing it to show the USB-C charging port. Battery life is rated at up to 100 hours. In usage, like using the OneNote app, the pen was very responsive and accurate. The pen too recognizes degrees of tilt for lifelike shading of drawings and paintings. Definitely a pen that you could use for professional drawing on Adobe Photoshop. On the right we have a Kensington Nano security slot. Two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one with always on charging, an SD Express 7.0 card reader. On the left we have an AC power connector, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.1 and a headphone microphone combo jack. Wireless connectivity is taken care of with the new Wi-Fi 6E AX211 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.2 combo card, offering the new 6E Wi-Fi standard at the less congested 6GHz band. 
Wireless range and performance was excellent using a Wi-Fi 6 access point. Same can be said for the Bluetooth range, working happily all day with a Logitech Bluetooth mouse or earbuds to listen to your Spotify playlist. The keyboard is spill resistant and has two level backlit with white LED lighting. The keys are 1.5mm travel, down from the 1.8mm in the older Gen 3 model. It's still an excellent keyboard to type on, but the competition from HP has caught up in recent generations. The F10 and F11 keys are used for accepting Microsoft Teams calls. The F12 key can be customised to open a frequently used website, folder, file or application. The touchpad is made of a smooth glass surface using Microsoft Precision drivers. Most people won't be disappointed by this touchpad with multi-gesture finger support. The integrated buttons are fairly quiet and have nice tactile feedback. It wouldn't be a ThinkPad if we didn't have the ThinkPoint red nub in the middle of the keyboard. For the OCD in you, the B key imprint is slightly lower down to accommodate the track point. There's also the mouse buttons above the touchpad that have a solid but quiet click when you press on them. The two user facing 2 watt speakers tuned with Adobe Atmos sound great with a nicely balanced sound. Whether it's streaming a video or a video conference call with colleagues, audio sounds clear and loud thanks to also to the dual Farfield mics and Adobe Voice enhancements. The only bugbear is a lack of bass via dedicated subwoofer, especially for a flagship workstation. The full HD webcam is average at best. Color accuracy and detail is okay for video zoom or Teams calls. Even with good lighting, the colors are oversaturated and pixelated. The webcam has a privacy shutter for extra security. IR sensors allow Windows Hello login authentication. This review model has a 12th gen Intel Core i7-12800H vPro processor. E calls up to 3.7 GHz, P calls up to 4.8 GHz. TDP is rated at up to 45 watts. There's a stick of 32GB of DDR5 4800MHz memory and storage is taken care of with a 1TB SSD M.2 2280 PCIe TLC Gen 4. As you can imagine with these components inside and the 3070 Ti, the P1 Gen 5 flies through everything thrown at it. Definitely one of the fastest laptops we've had in to review up to now. This shows in using applications like 4K encoding a Premiere Pro project. For example, a 12 minute video in 18 minutes. Benchmarking results also show excellent scores. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score of 15,601 multi-core and 1,818 in single-core. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score of 7,169, CPU score of 6,635 and a graphics score of 7,273. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 3,894, graphics score 3,777 and a CPU score 4,725. PC Mark 10 has an overall score of 6,732. Superposition resulted in a score of 8,707. The P1 Gen 5 gets extremely hot. 52 Celsius or 126 Fahrenheit at the center of the top vent when taxed heavily with CAD or 3D design work. It's hot to the touch where the vent is and hits 50 Celsius in the center where the function number keys are located. During PC Mark 10 benchmark testing, which simulates general workplace applications, the chassis got up to 52 Celsius near the vents and 50 Celsius at the top of the keyboard in the center again. When idle, it hits around 35 Celsius near the vents. The Nenovo engineers have also let the dual fans run freely with the audible noise when they hit their peak of just over 49 decibels. The fans do have a habit of spinning more often than not, therefore it's not a laptop to use in a quiet workplace or library. The Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 is aimed at 3D artists, 3D modeling, data analysis, CAD and STEM work. Certified to work alongside applications like Creo, Blender, Adobe Creative Cloud, Solid Edge, SolidWorks and Autodesk products. Note a ThinkPad P1 with a ISV certified NVIDIA GPU should be chosen for CAD. The P1 Gen has Intel Iris XE integrated graphics and a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti GPU with GDDR6 8GB memory. Compared to the older RTX 3070 mobile GPU card, the newer one offers 15% more shaders but less clock speed. The Lenovo engineers have set the 3070 Ti with an 80 watt TGP and a boost clock of 1035 MHz. The RTX 3070 Ti sits above the AMD Radeon RX 6600M and below the Nvidia Quattro RTX 5000. Naturally, the P1 Gen 5 isn't a gaming laptop, 
but with the RTX 3070 Ti, you can sneak in a couple of hours gaming during a long day at work. The GPU will happily run at QHD max settings for most AAA titles thrown at it. Cyberpunk 2077 runs smoothly with max detail alongside titles like Flight Simulator that tax most GPUs. Battlefield 2042 will run at 62 frames per second QHD settings with no sweat. Similar answer to Apex Legends if you fancy a sport of Battle Royale. The battery inside the P1 Gen 5 is a 4 cell 90 watt hour version. Battery life with video playback was around 5 to 6 hours. General usage like office, music streaming in the background, checking emails, battery life was a week 4 hours or so. Don't hold your breath with heavy workloads, the battery goes down to 1 to 2 hours at best. Gratefully, the rather large 230 watt power adapter has fast charging, giving a 50% charge in 30 minutes. Look at over an hour to fully charge from zero. The P1 Gen 5 has security tools up its sleeve, including a webcam privacy shutter, touch fingerprint reader located on the power button, D TPM 2.0 security chip, an IR camera for Windows Hello authentication, and a Nano Kensington lock. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Pulsating performance. With the vapor chamber cooling, and top components like the i7-12800H CPU, DDR5 memory, PCIe Gen 4x4 SSD and an NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti GPU. The P1 Gen 5 has explosive flagship performance. Everything thrown at it feels rapid and smooth with no lag. Gorgeous screen. The x ray Calibration UHD Plus display panel is gorgeous to view and use. Wide viewing angles, bright, touchscreen and pen friendly to name a few positives. One M.2 slot. If you opt for the higher graphics cards inside the P1 Gen 5, you gain the vapor cooling chamber for better performance, but you lose the secondary M.2 slot. Weak battery life. The P1 Gen 5 isn't going to win any battery life awards anytime soon. Not a workstation to move too far from a mains power socket. Plus on battery mode, performance takes a big hit. Can't hear you. Fan noise under light loads is kept down to a minimum. However, under heavy loads, the fan noise really is audible when plugged in. Personally, I didn't find it too much of a distraction, even when it was spinning hard. Hot baby. The P1 chassis gets extremely hot at times, even with the vapor chamber cooling inside. The processor is thermal throttled to manage the high temperatures that the CPU can hit. Similar story with the RTX 3070 Ti. Gets hot quickly, and once again throttled down to below 80 Celsius to keep things in check. Question mark over the reliability of the components in the long term. So if you're considering the ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 mobile workstation, what are the alternatives out there? In no particular order, here's a list to consider. HP ZBook Studio G9, Apple MacBook Pro 16, Razer Blade 15 2022, MSI Creator Pro Z16P, Dell XPS 17, Asus ProArt Studio Book 16 OLED. It's easier to talk about the few weaknesses of the ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 than the long list of excellent points. Heat, noise from the fans and poor battery life come to mind. These flaws can be overlooked as long as you keep it plugged in for blisteringly fast processing power from the CPU-GPU combo while working on the awe-aspiring 16-inch 4K display. The Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 is like an exotic supercar. Crazy fast performance, rock-solid chassis with amazing attention to detail. The free revving engine runs really hot and loud, but expect 8 miles to the gallon from the fuel tank. If you have the deep, deep pockets to buy this bad boy, don't hesitate to do so. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 5 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.